Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm cleaning up my mess. Um, we're going to do a little more um, um, Escape from Corregidor and um, when we departed I was on nighttime going to day and we had just come down here and I got myself all confused, forgot where I was at and um, we were going to do another expedition. So in the meantime I had gone and used up a pistol ammo thinking I was going to go into another um, sailing zone and we could we had fished and caught a jellyfish but um, when I realized that when I looked at my old video I found out that I had said we were going to stop here and go for a daylight um, expedition again and feeling all emboldened um, Joe uh, changed a whole bunch of uh, rolls, got my party back, we're looking good again. Um, I went through all the die rolls for my expedition last time on escaping the enemy because I had used two ammunition total for that uh, encounter. I was able to apply minus four to all die rolls and uh, they all would have survived without wounds. So I got all the wounds back. And then he also changed the um, die roll range from 1 to 16 no event to 1 to 18 no event and that took care of my guy falling out of the tree because I rolled a 17 for that so I was able to go back and change all of that um, so here we are I think we've got everything squared away um, remind me now to check my list or make a note of what I plan on doing the next day so I don't have to keep doing this So the uh, bottom line is we are going to do a daylight expedition. I will stick with the weather we rolled. We rolled fair and yes for wind. Um, we go, we, we're going to switch to daylight and that I, that I forgot to do and that's what caused my dilemma. So now we're daylight. We're going to go to C1 because I'm going to put together a, a land on the beach uh, we don't have to create an expedition party but because we have zero meat we're going to and this time we're going to try and be a little smarter now I know a little bit more about it um, and get our guys out there um, so we have a hunting skill he goes and uh, we don't really need a mech skill we definitely don't want the fishing skill. We learned that from last time. We're going to keep the fishing skill and the fishing gear on the boat. Um, so let's take along our second command. He's got no skill. And we'll take along eight, three, four, and uh, no sense. Well, we don't really need the mech skill. We don't have anything, but we're going to go ahead and save him anyway, and we'll put him down here just like that okay hopefully I didn't confuse everybody um, now we're going to equip and uh, we're definitely taking along a pistol and two ammo that helped us last time and we're gonna hope that we get hunting or something this time available especially our hunter um, we're gonna carry and I made a mistake last time with that. We're going to carry a water, and um, we can't carry a meat because we're out of meat, but we can carry a fruit. That way, if we get another fruit, we got something going on. But if we don't do something, uh, the guys in the boat are going to be in trouble. And uh, we got a fish on the boat, too. So hopefully, we can come out of this with some good stuff. Uh, we're going to carry Binox. And we're going to carry a compass. So let's do it this way. We'll have him carry both of those. Um, we're going to carry a gift for trading. We're going to carry medicine for trading. And we're going to carry first aid for possibilities. That should cover us. That leaves us a little bit of room to carry stuff. Um, anything we catch or shoot.
and um, without further ado then let's do this I'm going to see to move this over here move that down a little bit I think I have everything set up now that yes so we can see everything that I talk about let's go now to our uh, C1 go straight to there so we go to C draw this over a little bit so I can see what I'm selecting and you guys can follow along um, crewman with boring okay um, Um, trading hunting for and success with each crewman may carry one unit of water, meat, or fruit each carry box of health con if health condition per permits. So we really need to keep those open. We got four of them. Um, all right, so let's do this. Expedition party native village search. That was pretty risky last time. You know what? Fuck it. I've always been wanting to take chances. <clears throat> Get that out of here so we can read the dice and still see all this. Alright. Something like that. Close. Alright, so we're going to roll 2d6. We got a 3. Or five, because we're on map two. No native village. Go to table C6. Expedition party hunting. 2D6. Six. Um, for each rifle with ammo unit. Darn it, I did forget to bring that again. So we, that's all right. We have a gun, so we just don't get that extra one. If any crewman present has a hunting skill, that's that plus one we need. So we got seven. Damn it. Just not, a qual not enough. Just not enough. I needed that rifle. All right, so we used some ammo up, and we didn't get anything to show for it. All right, um, we're going to we're going to do some foraging. We got it at this point. Ten. So we get successful. We got to roll one die six. We get six water and fruit found. A roll one die six for each found. So water. We get one. One water and fruit. Five. That's going to help us big time. Oh, we can't put it there. We got to carry it. Yeah, it can help us, but we don't get all five of them because we can't carry all five of them. We're going to carry four of them, or three of them away. You know what? I wonder if I drop a water. We get water a lot easier. That's something else I forgot to do. B1. Fair. Oh, that's why we don't get any water on that day. Because it didn't rain, obviously. Okay, so um, that's fine. Back to seas. We carried a fruit. We got five. If we can carry six fruits back, that's rations for two days. I'm going to get both of those waters up for, so we can carry our maximum load of fruit. Five plus the one we carry would be six. I'm kind of taking a chance because if we get lost, we won't have water. But I'm going to risk that. Um, I think it's important that we carry this shit out of here. All right. So we found that. Next chart is random event. D20. We got 11, no random event. Uh, we go to 
C10. Landing boat crew. Our landed boat crew. Um, we have the fishing skill and the fishing gear on the boat this time, so we may fish. 2D6. 10. Good roll. Nice. Uh, plus 1 if we have the fishing skill. 11. That's the jellyfish again. We still have a pistol on the boat, so we're going to go ahead and use up the pistol ammo. Yes, I'm getting extravagant with it. Um, and delete that. And um, take the five meat. And that's on the ship, not in ours. So that goes in our inventory. So we're going to put five meat down here. I should have just drawn five of them, but hey, we're a little dense today. All right, so we are recovering from our sad state of affairs, which is good because we have two sections of sea to get past before we hit land again, and then another big one down here. So um, we really got to stock up for some of these legs here. All right. Um, fishing, done. Random event check for the boat. 18. Would have been a random event yesterday. Not today. 12. Random event. No, we didn't roll for run. So we go to 13. Return trip path pathfinding check. And we have the compass and we have the binoculars. It's daylight but no heavy rain. It's it's uh, daylight and fair weather. So there's absolutely no uh, modifiers. We roll a 6 and barely get successful. Return to the landed boat on the beach. Okay, so now we can go ahead and get our expedition party up back out here. Let's get the guys back on the boat. hunting skill goes to oh boy all of a sudden I forget who the hunting skill was uh, fishing hunting hunting that was 12 okay uh, pistol goes back in our inventory we get a pistol ammo to drag back from the boat I mean from there compass binox gift we didn't use a gift medicine didn't use a medicine didn't use the first aid and we can put all six fruits into our inventory very nice now we're pretty set again we're not flush but we're we're looking pretty good we, we can go for a, for a good three turns one two three we two well close to three turns and we do expect to get some fish along the way um, now we're just going to be playing for, praying for rain. All right, there we go. Expedition successful. Food and water consumption. Landing boat thirst consumption. Take one water for each boat. Okay, well, we put all everybody back into the boat. Okay, so we're going to subtract. Three water, three waters, and we're going to get rid of three um, meats, or we're going to. In this case, we'll get rid of all six fruits. That takes care of our consumption for the day. Still leaves us pretty good on meat. And pretty decent on water. Not real good, but we're all right. Um, Fifteen. Land a boat departure. So we're going to go back out to B1 because yes, I want to go back out and um, sail at night now and, and get past one of these. So we only have to risk that one. So we go back to B1. We're going to roll for our, our date. Our, our um, let's. Before we forget, cycle tonight. Now, rolling for our weather. Seven. Minus one, six. Fair again. 
which means no water. And that could be problematic. Um, especially if we drop those two water. So um, that was, was it worth the extra two fruit? Maybe, maybe not. Um, wind check, five. No wind. Oh boy. So we're all we're gonna have to be on um, sail on um, engine power because we don't want to use the ore power and consume our our water and stuff. Storm event no B three fishing. We are doing this because we're not going to do an expedition. Two uh, D six plus one seven eight two fish. So that's two meat. We're all right on meat. All right. Before enemy contact, it is day. No, it is night, so we don't have to do either one of those. Random event check. Um, B26, no random event. B7, no random event. Consumption, one water for each. One, two, three. Now we're getting a little tough. Meat, one, two, three. Okay, but we had enough. We're good on that turn. Boat power. Well, we have to use engine. All right, so we're going to use another fuel, and we're going to check for the uh, navigation, and then we're going to check for the um, engine failure, and we hope not. When we lose that, we're in trouble. Seven. Eight. On course, we may move to the next zone. All right, um, engine failure. One to five, one D six, one. No engine problems. Very good. We like it like that. Go back to B one. We're going to change today. Going to roll for some weather. Ten. That's good. Minus one for fair is nine, so we get a light rain. And um, let's roll for wind real quick, too. 2d6, 11. We have wind present. Good. And also, we roll one die six for how many water units we collect. Three. That saves our bake in the day. One two three all right now oh no storm event uh, fishing we have plus one because we still have our gear and everything 10 11 got that jellyfish again and um, ooh, we are going to we got to keep running through our pistol ammo so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and risk it. Um, no, we're not going to cut the line. We need that bad. Um, get this over here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, we're not going to cut the line. Gone in there. We're not going to fire a shot because I don't want to use up ammo. So we're going to have to roll an E for a possible injury. One die six. Six. Of course it is. Crewman injured. Roll 1d20. Now we're open for a 19 or a 20. 18. Nope, no such luck. Number 18 down here is injured. Um, roll 2d6. 6. You got 6 health boxes lost. F for G. First bait is available and used immediately. Health boxes lost. Reduced by half for that crewman rounded off. Uh, we don't have that medic skill, so um, you know what? Damn, only three of them. That hurts. He got six. I'm going to save them. Uh, I, th I think it can get a lot worse. So six isn't going to hurt us. He's still going to be um, average, so... You know what? Decrease that a couple of times. That'll get us right into where we want to be. And increase. So he will have uh, 
six damage. So we're going to go ahead and take that, but we gain five meat. That's a good day. One, two, three, four, five. So we're starting to look good on that again. Now, we go to B4, enemy contact aircraft. To this day, we got a roll for this 2d6. 10, that's uh, a good roll. Uh, 8 for uh, map 1 or 2, and plus 1, 9 for light rain. No enemy aircraft. Ships. Again, minus 2, plus 1, so we're going to subtract 1. 8, 7, no enemy ships. Good deal. Random event check, 1d20. 5, no random event. B8, water and thirst. Minus one for each crew box. That's three waters and three meat. All right, go to B9, boat power. And we have wind, so I'm gonna put sail in there. Sail means I don't lose fuel and I don't lose any meter or uh, water. Um, navigation check, 2D6. Um, we are in uh, We have no modifiers. Six, barely stay on course, but we do stay on course. That puts us back to B1. We roll in the nighttime, gonna do a little weather check, and this time we're adding one for light rain. Six, seven, light rain again, good, because we that means we get water, run die six. One, that's not good. That means we're gonna be short of water. But um, what, that means everybody in one crew section is going to get two damage points. All right, um, and so be it. Not what we can do about that. Uh, 2d6 for the wind check. Six, no wind. To add insult to injury. Um, and it's nighttime and we're in a blue, so we can't even land to try to restock any. B2. No storm event, B3, fishing, plus 1, 10, 11, jellyfish again. We're going for it. Again, we're going to take a risk for an injury. Five, two in a row. 10, 10 is going to get injured this time. 2D6 is five. These are the compromises you got to make. Uh, do you want to get the meat? Do you want to risk health error issues? Um, so he took five. That means he's average health. So I got two guys down to average health, but that's not bad. So far I can deal with that. The big thing is we got five more meat. One, four more. I put that option in there. Let's use it. All right, no enemy contact, random event, D2014, no random event, go to B8, water consumption. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and we'll take both waters off. Um, we're going to take three meats off. And I think we're just going to go for everybody in C-section is going to lose two health points. So that's going to be 13, 14, 15, 13 to 18 are going to lose two. Sorry guys, you don't get a ration of water today. Sucks to be uh, controlled by me because my dice are not good. And 18. 18 is barely hanging on the average right now. Okay, um, that's what happens. That's what this game's all about. All right, so we go to nine boat power, and we had to use engine power, so we're going to use another fuel up. Um, then we're going to do a navigation check. Eight. Night light rain so we're on course again we can move to the next I keep switching to 5 11 and 
uh, well, we're going to go to B1. We don't have to, oh, uh, we do use the engines. we got to go to B11. We're going to roll for an engine failure. One, no engine failure. Good. Uh, okay, new turn. Uh, we're going to night. No, we're going to day. Sorry about that. Day, I want to be on land. And so, we're going to roll for weather on land. Four. Adding one for light rain is five. Ugh, oh, fair. I didn't want fair. <laughs> want in one hand and shit in the other. See which fills up first. So, it's day fair weather. We're going to check for wind. Seven. Doesn't really matter because we're not going anywhere today. We have wind. Uh, we're going to go to C1. And we're going to set up another expedition. We got to find some water. Hopefully, we're in bad shape. So again, twelve goes with the hunting skill. Uh, two will go with the uh, compass and the binox. We don't have water, we'll take a meat, take a gift, take a pistol, take two ammo, um, medicine to trade, first aid in case. All right, I think we're good. C2, native village search. We'll try it. Four. Five, six, because we're on map. Two. Once again, nope. No village discovered. That might be a good thing. Steal from native village? No. Uh, expert village? No. Uh, we go down to hunting we will hunt do we need to hunt and use that ammo no foraging we will forage 2d6 4 nothing found this is gonna hurt uh, random event 18 no random event Landed boat crew fishing, plus one, ten, eleven. Again, that jellyfish. I'll take it because it's five meats. Um, we're going to have to attempt to die roll again. Six. Once again, somebody's going to get hurt. Uh, we roll a d20. We get five. Huh, forgot to put the, my other crew members out here. A lot of forgetting. It's the same guys. I always use the same block. Um, I better watch it because he's getting pretty close and he's my uh, hunter. No, he's not. It's 18. It's hurting. He keeps getting bit by jellyfish and starved and or not drinking and whatever. Um, so we have the fishing skill and everything on the boat. We have a pistol, we have ammo, but we're not going to use it. A five is not on the boat, so he can't be bit by the... Yes, he is. Yeah, he has the fishing skill. He can be bit. 2d6, nine. We will use a first aid up for that one. Uh, that'll make that five. Five gets five. He's just turned to average, and we got to keep him healthy. He's our fishing guy. Um, but in doing so, we get five more meat. And we're maxed out on meat. All right. We need water. Uh, random event check for the boat crew. One, no random event. Uh, return pathfinding check. 
five. Oh. We're lost and spend another turn in the jungle. Uh, land a boat, thirst requirements. Everybody on the boat gets minus two because we don't have any freaking water for them. So, one. Um. Six, nine, ten. Ten starting to get into the uh, bad part. Um, Eleven and five. Five's getting pretty close. Wow. And then we got 13 to 18. These guys are really desperate for water here. I'm clicking this off uh, where you can't see it on my other screen. So that's why you don't see anything going on. I'm filling in all the boxes on my sheet. Ooh, and number 18 just went down to poor health. All right. Um, then the guys on expedition party would come. They may consume food, food and water. Uh, we got to disconnect two of these for the guys on the boat. And the guys on land can do this. And they all also get two uh, points off because we don't have any. We got fair weather. Okay, so we're going to lose two health boxes for each. <clears throat> Not good. Uh, 212. Oh. And um, 3 and 8. four and seven all right then we go to um, B1 roll for weather change to night B1. Roll for weather. Plus uh, zero. No, minus one for fair. Seven, six. Fair again. Damn it. Oh boy, this is hurting us. Four. No wind either. Alright, then we go to C2. Expedition party village search. I'm not going to try to steal from anybody. I don't think Ah, but we can get water there but we need an 8 to 12 that is that is horrible hmm decisions and if we forage one to two or five to six, we stand over, we stand a better chance of just foraging. Let's just forage. I'm not even gonna hunt. 2d6, eight. 
five. Oh, gotta be kidding. Nothing. All right. Um, oh, wow. Random event check for Expedition Party 13, no event. Fishing for the boat, 10, 11 again, it's a freaking jellyfish. I don't think we have five meats up here. No, we only have three, so he's really not worth keeping this time. I'm gonna cut the, cut the line. Um, random boat check, five, no random event. Uh, expedition party return trip minus three, but we have fair weather, so no. Ten. Well, we successfully returned to the boat, so now everything can go onto the boat, back onto the boat. This is not going well. not going well at all. The water is killing us. We were flush for a while and now we're not. Alright, literally killing us. Um, everybody's going to take two. And we will check off. Oh, we're back to the boat. We're going to check out consumption. No water, so everybody gets two. We were pretty ballsy with things early on using ore power and stuff and you can see where that got me right now we're in a world of shit so we're taking our punishment um they go through we've got a lot of guys starting to get down into average health some of them are almost everybody's close to average health um and we're not even into map three yet Sorry, Joe. Trying to make the game uh, play well, and I'm getting my butt kicked here. I'm um, trying to make the decisions, not getting the weather. Uh, and I just don't feel comfortable trying to steal from a village because that roll didn't look good enough. Um, maybe I'm wrong on that one. And um, we did part the beach and head back out to sea. Unless I don't want to. And it's going to be daylight again. And we're on green. And I'm just going to stay right where we're at. We're going to go to B1. And we're going to roll for weather minus one. Come on. This is not going where. Well, fair weather again. No wind again. It is the Philippines. So I've been there. Days can go by without getting it. We gotta go. We gotta go out and out and about. We have got to get out there and get some water. I'll, I'm gonna send a party out again. Same party. Hunting skills got to go. Alright, um, again we're going to take a pistol and two ammo. And we're going to 
take a long binox compass gift for trading first aid in case medicine for trading that's all I'm gonna risk carrying out all right um, native village search it's daylight no storm no heavy rain we have binoculars plus two or plus two 10 11 12 native village discovered only one trade attempt per village may be made and if time is night but it's not um, so we're going to go to C4 uh, disposition day only enters the village roll one die six. Oh, you gotta be kidding me hostile again guess we're not hunting we're using up both ammo again and we're going to minus four on everybody uh, for 12 minus four he's safe two minus four seven three he's safe three two he's safe eight nine minus four is five he's wounded four wounds for five that's not worth using up a first aid now he's poor and he is carrying wasn't five that was four. Oh boy I'm all confused here yes uh, four Yes, four should have taken that. That's three. Decrease that. One, four. He's average. One, two, three, four. I'm thinking fifth guy, uh, which is why Joe put letters in there so you don't do things like that. Rolling for seven minus four. Four. He's safe. So we only we didn't come out of that too badly. Um. All right, not looking good. Uh, we can't hunt. We no longer have ammunition. Foraging, 2d6, 9. Well, Foraging is going to be successful. 2, we got water. Let's get a good die 6 roll. 2. This is horrible. We are, we are doing po very poorly here. Very poorly. random event 15 no random event fishing plus one eight two fish that'll be two meats random event for the boat 11 no random event expedition party return three and we're lost Well, the guys in the boat will be able to drink. And I did forget to carry a meat. I'm going to play a mulligan on that because I'm doing poorly as it is and I will. I, I would have carried, I should have carried a meat. I always carry a meat. And I'm going to say we're all right on that one. The guys disagree with me, that's fine. Um. 12. 12 gets 2 off of him. He is now average. we got to watch him. 
Uh, two gets two off of him. He's average. Uh, three gets two off of him. He's average. Eight. Average. Four. Poor. We'll have to pick up his stuff. And C. I mean, not C. F. Number seven. Two off of him. And he is average. So we need to go back out. We're lost in the jungle. We need to stay there another day. I'm going to play this day. Our 45 minutes in. Actually, it'll be night. We're going to roll for weather. Minus one. You gotta be kidding me. What happened to these rolls? That's a three. Again, we have fair weather. No wind. And we go to C. No native village search, cause uh You know what? Fuck it, let's try this. Two D six. Six minus three of night is three. Four or five, no native village, so it doesn't matter anyway. Go to C6. Hunting, I'm not going to hunt, don't have ammo anyway. Seven, foraging, we have to forage. Six, minus three, nothing. This is disgusting. Random, random event, two, no event. Ten, fishing for the boat. Six, seven, one fish. Random event check for the boat. 14, no random event. Return trip pathfinding. 9. Well, at least we get back to the boat. So, first aid. A good thing, too, because we're out of uh, all this goes back. Everybody on the boat's going to take another hit. All right. Um, no water for anybody. We do need to move three meats. And everybody on the boat gets two hits. A lot of checking over here. We got guys going in the poor. I'm going to have to look at my party and everything and do some boat switching around here. We're not even halfway through and I got a lot of guys in bad shape. Number 18 is almost incapacitated. Um, of my first guys, 12. He's average. I need to have him on these. these poor, and one more. He's in poor health. He can't even hunt anymore. Um, five, same way. We're going to lose fishing skill. Um, yeah, we're going to be in bad shape here real soon. Real, real soon. All right, seven, three, two, four. Well, 
let's get number nine up here to take over for four and let's get number 11 13 13's in pretty decent shape not decent compared to the rest of them we'll put four down here in the back <sighs> okay um tough decisions landed boat departure and we will stop there and we will go into the daylight next turn uh, on the next video and I really 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 got to start moving but we're not not in any position to we really need to scrounge and everything and we're just doing horrible here horrible 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 yeah we've got a long stretch till we can get from there to there we got to pick stuff up here or here. And that's going to be an extra journey of four trips, four turns. We'll move into the green one, take our chances, forge and stuff here, and then we're going for it. It's what we have to do. All right. Thanks for thanks all for joining me. Hope you all had a good time. Um, I am nervous as hell because I'm killing my ship real fast with my dice rolls. But I'm having fun doing it. Um, very interesting game. It'll keep you on the edge of your seat, as you can tell. And it'll have you cussing your dice. Thanks for joining me. I um, hope you all enjoy this. Any comments, uh, post them on my uh, YouTube or to Joe or any of us on Facebook where I'm posting these videos. And thanks again.